crypto lightsaber back with another video on zen guys if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel you know i've been doing this for a while now okay got a decent bunch of subscribers but a lot of you that are viewing this viewing these videos are not actually subscribed so do me a favor and subscribe to the channel like the video that helps with the youtube algorithm and if you minted zen please let me know how many wallets you did in the comments Everyone's going to be interested in how many wallets you did. I know people did 100 wallets, 50 wallets. Trayvon James did 363 wallets. Everyone's going crazy for this particular project. Let me know in the comments how many wallets you did. I did seven wallets, okay? I'm, you know, behind <laughs> in comparison to some of the other guys out there. But I'm happy with what I did. And I may do more even still. But we're going to talk about Zen. I want to play a clip of this video from the founder. My friend actually sent me this video earlier this morning and said, don't be a weak seed. All right, guys. So you don't want to be selling your Zen early, not financial advice. Do your own research. Don't lose more than what you can afford to lose and all that sort of stuff. But it won't be a good idea to sell your Zen early if you look at the potential, considering you're getting it for free minus your gas fees. But don't let anyone fudge you out your bag. Right. We're going to listen to this very quickly and just in case you can't hear it i've got the subtitles on as well so let's just hear what jack levin said this is a video by the way shout out to hex token it's only a minute and 20 seconds long um possible 100 million users in a few years and theory and by pressure let's just see what jack levin has to say about this so this is why i believe that this project is bullish and i was saying don't let anyone fudge you out of your bag let's just play this Hey, uh, Pulsar guys. Nice name. <laughs> Jake, I just have some questions for you about um, your game theory and about the uh, minting phase. Um, it seems like a lot of people, like someone can create multiple wallets and mint Zen, but what, what, where do you see the buy pressure coming from over the market? The buy pressure will come from the size of the community. So uh, regardless of how many wallets you can create, uh, we're attracting a lot of people out there. Uh, just by looking at Google Analytics, we had 150,000 people come in just a couple of days. That's a lot of people uh, for a project like that. And so if you just forget about the wallets, and forget about the numbers, and forget about the billions of them that will be created, the value is in the community. And as someone mentioned before uh, in this conversation, buying them instantly uh, versus waiting a year to generate it creates, actually has value because you're, you're advancing. It's like you're buying the future. So you're buying somebody uh, 365 days of work if we talk about the year, so the value is right there. The other way to look at the value is that, that let's assume for a second, and within a couple of years, we're gonna have 100 million users. Is this possible? I've done it before with MHI.com, I have 60 million users right there. So 100 million in crypto is doable. If that happens, the then will be accepted everywhere as a peer to peer cash, and as a token of exchange. So let's just rewind that just so we can go through some of the points that he made right so first of all he said ignore the amount of ignore the users right no not the users the wallets right forget about the wallets for a second let's go to the dashboard um right now 633,142 wallets let's just refresh that because it might be a little bit more 633,895 wallets that is the global rank super bullish guys that's how many wallets have minted zen right as i said i did seven wallets some people did 100 wallets how many wallets have you done let me know in the comments all right guys but i account for seven of these wallets of course right um but what does jack say he said ignore ignore the amount of users uh, is that what he said let's just uh let's just go back to what he said but people can create uh, multiple wallets. Where do, where do you see the buy pressure coming from? The buy pressure will come from the size of the community. So uh, regardless of how many wallets you can create, uh, we're attracting a lot of people out there. Uh, just by looking at Google Analytics, we had 150,000 people come in just a couple of days. That's a lot of people. So the buy pressure is going to come from the community, right? So regardless of how many wallets you see right here, this is only just the beginning. This is only like three days old. Is it three days old or are we on two days? This is like three days old, right? And um, we've already seen 633,000 wallets. So if you're looking for a, com uh, uh, sorry, if you're looking for a project with a community, something like Hex, right? So I know a lot of people are comparing this to Hex. Um, Drip Network, for example, XRP, 
And, and you know, when we say Hex as well, you've got a factor in Pulse Chain and Pulse X and all that sort of stuff as well, Richard Hart fans, right? So if you're looking for a project with a community, this is definitely one of them. I know that when Hex started, a lot of people were fudding it. One of the reasons why I didn't buy Hex was people said Richard Hart was a scammer and I got fudded out of a great opportunity, okay? Um, you know, people had all sorts of reasons why Hex was a scam. The Origin Wallet... The, the amount of supply, the low liquidity, all that sort of stuff, right? And, um, you know, if you were like me, you would have let people fudge you out of your bag and fudge you out of potentially millions of dollars in just a few years' time. In fact, probably even a shorter space of time than that, right? So if you're looking for a project like that, you found it with Zen, okay? If you're looking for a project with a, a founder with a good track record, who's done it all before, well, not done it all before, not in terms of crypto, right, but good at marketing, for example, um, in the video, um, it says, uh, when you skip over here, it says that he's done it before in with mycheck.com, it's not mycheck.com, that's the, the subtitles are getting it wrong, it's actually Image Shack, let's just go to Jack Levin's Twitter page, right, so he is the founder Let's just click on his Twitter. He's the founder of ImageShack.com. Okay, so ImageShack.com, he said he's done it before where he's got like 60 million users on his particular platform, right? And his aim, or not his aim, but he, he believes that Zen could do 100 million users in a few years, all right? And it doing things like that, that's going to make it attractive to... Oh no, e-commerce websites, um, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, Walmart, you know, whatever, right? People that will potentially accept crypto for payment, just like we know that Tesla accepts Dogecoin and uh, things like that, right? So with the amount of users coming in, that would be potentially bullish in that way. But not only that, in terms of the community, when it comes to, um, you know, accumulating the token, right? Me, for example, let's have a look, right? If we go to this particular wallet, which wallet are we on, right? So on this wallet, uh, let's just go to Mint, right? So on this wallet, my estimated Zen is 21.9 million uh, Zen, okay, guys? But I've got to wait another 363 days for that Zen, okay, guys? However, if you wanted to pick up 21.9 million Zen right now, Let's just uh, get the price of Zen. Okay, let's get uh, let's get the price of Zen right now. It's at zero point zero 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 two 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 two. Of course, the price has dropped. Okay, guys, but let's just do a a brief. We're not even going to put the exact number, right? Twenty one million Zen, right? Times that by the price of Zen, zero 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 two, approximately, right? You could buy 21 million Zen for $4,200. It's going to take me a year to get my 21 million Zen. You could have the same 21 million Zen today. All right, guys. So when it comes to the community, you could actually just go and buy that now. Right? I could buy that now. And then as well, in another year's time, I'm going to have another 21 million Zen on that particular wallet. Right? And, um, you know, you could sell that. You know, if the price goes down, obviously it's going to be worth less. But if the price of Zen pumps, you can sell that for a lot more. But, you know, if buy pressure comes in, obviously, and people start thinking like that, right, instead of waiting a year to get all that Zen, I could just buy it now, and then I've got all of that Zen secured. So if the price pumps, I could sell it or whatever. So by the time the buy pressure comes in, and I get my Zen later on down the line, you know, it's going to be a better price for me to sell. Or, you know, obviously you might just still want to hold it and so on, but... There's lots of reasons for people to buy this particular token. If you look on MEXC, all of this over here is buy orders. These are people with this mindset, that mentality, right? They want to buy Zen now. They don't want to wait a year. They don't want to wait, you know, uh, uh, 364 days or 100 days for their Zen. They want to buy it now. And like I said in a previous video, a lot of these users uh, probably don't even own a MetaMask or a trust wallet and don't know how to use Uniswap and things like that, right? Because this is a centralized exchange, which means it's got a much larger user base than, for example, a decentralized exchange. It's got a lot of people that really don't know, may not even know much about crypto. And this is their introduction to crypto just through a an exchange like this, right? I know most people that I know, in fact, 
let's say 99% of the people that I know and talk to you about crypto, they've probably got a Binance account or something. They don't have a MetaMask wallet. They don't really know about decentralized finance. They don't know about Uniswap, PancakeSwap, right? And, um, you know, I say, I tell them, I say, look, the stuff that I do is pretty high risk, right? Well, I recommend you get a Coinbase account. You start with some Bitcoin, you start with some Ethereum. And once you've got some skin in the game, you'll get to learn it a little bit more. And then you might delve into, you know, the decentralized stuff and things like that. But, you know, most people that I talk to on a daily basis about crypto don't know much about crypto. And if they do, they're on a centralized exchange like Binance or Coinbase, okay guys? So a lot of these people in other countries, M MEXC Global might be their go-to, right? Or Huobi, we know this is listed on Huobi now. Uh, we know it's also listed on gate.io. And one that I missed yesterday because it didn't come, the announcement didn't come through until after my video, right? Is uh, L Bank, okay? Um, it also listed on L Bank Exchange. Right here, L Bank. Okay, guys. So that is uh, somebody told me it's on twelve exchanges. I'm not sure what the rest of the exchanges are, but I know it's on at least four that I'm aware of. Okay. Another thing to note here that it will be listing on B, uh, launching on BNC and Polygon next. It's going to be on Zen Network. Uh, anything that looks like Zen isn't. It's likely a scam, right, guys? So don't get scammed. Only use Zen dot Network when it comes to minting and things like that. But yeah, I mean. By pressure, guys. Community, right? Can this reach 100 million users? Um, I mean, it's already reached 630, sorry, 600 and, uh, you know, almost 700K, right? Let's just say almost 700K. 634K almost, right? That's a lot of users in a couple of days, right? I definitely think it's going to hit 1 million pretty soon, all right? And, um, you know, I don't think I'm going to be wrong about that. 100 million users will be a lot of users. Um, but... Can it do that? Of course, it, there's a potential for that, right? So, you know, I think it's better to aim high and and hit a fraction of that rather than aim low and hit a fraction of that. Okay, guys, so I think that, you know, in a few years, potentially, right, the bag that you're holding could be worth a lot. So would you sell for peanuts right now? Probably not the best strategy, but remember, it's not financial advice. You're going to do what you think is best for you at the end of the day we've all got bills to pay all right guys so the decision that you make in terms of your own financials is always going to be the best decision for you sometimes we kick ourselves later but at the time at, this, uh, at, this, at the same time if you need the money today you know why not you know at the end of the day everyone's got to eat to survive okay guys but um yeah let me know what you think in the comments um this video again is by hex token okay and it's, it's just a clip. All right, guys. Um, I do recommend you tune into the Twitter spaces and all that sort of stuff. Because this is taken from one of the Twitter spaces. That's day two Zen spaces. I'm not sure if you can go and find that on there. Um, I'm not that tech savvy when it comes to Twitter. Okay, guys. Um, do they have a list of the spaces uh, uh, stored on here? I don't actually know. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make that video, guys. Don't let anyone fudge you out of your bag. Not financial advice, of course. Um, right now, um, my estimated Zen has been jumping on all of my wallets. It has been increasing, which we expected. My C rank, as you can see on this wallet, is pretty high. It's my highest one, 310,000. But my C rank goes as low as on my very first wallet that I did was this one. It's as low as 1,000 and... 1,151, but I only did a very small seven-day stake on here, right? And so, um, whatever your strategy is, is going to be best for you. But what I could do is I could just sell this seven days worth of Zen when it comes. Or I could just hold it. It's only 445,000, right? But if I sell that, I can then use the gas to mint a whole bunch of more uh, new wallets, potentially, right? I can claim that in five days. Um, if you don't know my strategy, you, um, you haven't watched my videos, so go back and watch my other two videos on Zen, and you will see that I have a strategy. So it makes sense. Uh, so it makes sense why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it on the seven day for this particular wallet. Okay, guys. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a bullish project, and I'm excited to see whether this can make millionaires in the future. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, 
the video that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, tick the little bell that notifies you when I drop a video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in the very next video. Thank you.